Hello mga kawaw mats! So sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin on how to represent a logarithmic function through its table of values, graphs, and equation. Sketch the graph of y is equal to log x with base 2. So kapag nag-graph tayo, una munang gagawin is construct a table of values of ordered pairs for the given function. So pwedeng given yung values ng x, so ito. Pwedeng given yan, binigay, or pwede kayo yung mag-assign ng values ng x. So, sa example nito, binigay yung values ng x. And then, yung 1 over, uh, if your x is 1, 8, your y is negative 3. If your x is 1 half, your y is negative 1. And if your x is 2, the value of y is 1. Okay, so, paano yan nakuha? So, nag-select lang ako ng iilan dyan para ipakita kung paano isolt. Or you can use your scientific calculator para ma-check nyo agad kung tama yung sagot nyo. Okay? So, by computing and uh, substituting the values of x on the given function. So, yung x natin is 1 over 16. And si once 1 over 16, pwede natin i-write as 2 raised to negative 4. So, by applying the property of logarithm, logarithm of 2 raised to negative 4 with base 2 is equal to negative 4. So, kung natatandaan nyo, or uh, if you have a question o nakalimutan kung ano yung property na yon, so pwede yung balikan yung video lesson about the properties of logarithm. Next. So, if your x is 1 over 16, so therefore that is, yung y nyo is negative 4. Okay. If your x is 1 fourth, so, substitute lang natin. And 1 fourth, we can write as 2 raised to negative 2. So, y is equal to log 2 raised to negative 2 with base 2 is equal to y is equal to negative 2. Okay? Next is y is equal to x with base 2. Substitute 1, so the value of x. And applying the property of logarithm. So, kapag 1 yan, therefore, y is equal to 0. And last, y is equal to log of x with base 2. So, substitute natin yung 4 sa x natin. So, log of 4 with base 2. And 4, we can write it 2 squared. And applying the property of logarithm. So, log 2 squared with base 2 is equal to y is equal to 2. So, ganyan lang siya kukunin. So, after natin uh, makonstruct ang table of values of ordered pairs for the given function, so, yung next natin gagawin is to plot the points. So, ito yung nakuha natin ordered pairs. So, ipla-plot natin in the Cartesian plane. So, first is 1 over 16 and negative 4. So, dyan natin. So, kung nahirapan kayo, i-divide nyo to para makita nyo yung value nyan. So, 1 divide 16, that is equivalent to what? Huh? So, that is equivalent to 0 0.0625. Okay? So, kaya masyado siyang dikit dito sa 0. Okay, next is 1, 8. Okay? 1, 8 is equivalent to, so, pwede nyo gamitan ng calculator, 0 0.125. So, dito yan. So, 0 0.125. And negative 3. Next is 1 port. So, ang 1 port natin is 0.25. And negative 2. So, it, and next is 1 half or yung, that is 0 0.5, negative 1. So, 0 0.5, negative 1. And then, 1, 0. So, ito yung 1, 0 natin. Next is 2, 1. Okay? And then, 4, 2. So, ito yung 4, and then 8, 3 Okay After plotting the points So you can plot the points Or uh, if you want class to check your answer So you can use the GeoGebra Okay Sige, ipakita ko lang sa inyo Okay, to check your answer no, Pwede nyo gamitin to Type nyo lang sa browser nyo ge GeoGebra.org Slash graphing yan Copy nyo lang yung uh, link na to So ilagay lang natin Para makita nyo kung tama yung pagplot nyo ng points 
at makikita nyo na yung graph nung given function so type nyo lang so lagay kayo ng open and close parenthesis so 1 divide 16 and then comma negative 4 ok so makikita nyo ito na siya ayan next is 1 over 8 so kapag laptop yung gamit nyo class yung pang divide na gamitin nyo yung slash na symbol dun sa my question mark and then negative 3 ayan so ito yun next Okay, ito kasi para ma-check nyo kung tama yung pag-plot nyo ng points at makikita nyo agad yung graph. 1 fourth negative 2. Okay? And then, 1 half negative 1. Next. So, baba lang natin. Okay, pindutin nyo lang yung tab. 1, 0 Okay Next 2, 1 And then Pindot lang kayo ng tab for next no? Tab yung pipindutin nyo para bumaba siya And then 4, 2 Okay And then 8, 3 Okay, ayan It's so Keep. So ito class, ito yung plotting points natin Yung plotted points natin Given yung ordered pairs na nakuha natin So as you can see, same yan sa nakuha natin Okay, so pwede yung lakihan yan Okay, parang kitang kita Or pwede kayo mag-assign ng values ng x O oh, halimbawa class, uh, tinamad kayo okay. Kunin yung table of values Okay, mamaya meron dyan para mapadali makuha yung values ng x So kapag kinuha nyo Yung, di ba, that is y Yung function natin is y is equal to log Okay, mamili kayo dyan Pag tinipe nyo yung logarithm Piliin nyo yung ito Yung, yan Then yung b, papalitan nyo Nang 2 Okay And then ito ay x Okay, so para mag-connect yung uh, graph natin Magko-connect na sila Okay, kitang-kita nyo Or class, pwede kayo dito yan o oh. Pindutin nyo yan, table of values Okay Table of values Ayan, pwede kayo mag-assign dyan Halimbawa, from negative 5 to positive 5 Okay So, ibibigay sa inyo yung uh, kasi class, ibig sabihin ng question mark Undefined yan Undefined yung sagot okay? So pwede kayo mag-assign Or pwede nga ibigay agad sa inyo Yung sagot na sa table of values Bahala kayo mag-assign ng range nga So that is using the uh, GeoGebra Now okay. So ito yon, Ito yung plotted points natin And then kapa after nyo ma-plot yung points, you connect the plotting points using the smooth curve. So, ito yung graph ng function natin that na y is equal to log of x with base 2. Next. Okay, sketch the graph of y is equal to log x with base 2 1 half. So, ibig sabihin yung base natin dito is greater than 0 but less than 1. So, same process. Kunin natin yung... Una muna, kuha ta uh, gawin muna natin yung table of values Mag-construct tayo ng table of values So, sa example na to, again, binigay yung uh, values ng x And then, kumuha lang ulit ako o, Nag-select lang ako para kunin yung value ng uh, y no? So, if x is 1 over 16 and if x is 1 over 4 So, lahat ng blanco dyan, ipapakita ko Okay, so Ito naman ay paano natin gagawin yung base natin, 1 half. Okay, substitute lang ulit natin sa x natin. So, 1 half raised to y. So, pwede, paano ginawa yan? So, transform lang natin yung 
function natin into exponential form. So, 1 half raised to y is equal to 1 over 16. So, ang goal natin dyan, kailangan same yung base nila. Tama? So, para maging same yung base nila, so yung 1 over 16, that is equivalent to 1 half raised to 4. So, since same na yung base nila, so therefore, yung y natin is equal to 4. So, ang sagot dito is 4. Next, 1 fourth naman. So, same process class. So, kailangan same yung base natin. So, para maging same yung base natin, so ang 1 fourth right natin is 1 half squared. So, because 1 half squared is equivalent to 1 fourth. And then, so therefore, y is equal to, uh, this is 2. No? Y is equal to 2. Okay, so next. If x is equal to 1, so y is equal to log 1. So, applying the property of logarithm, so that is y is equal to 0. So, tatanda nyo kapag 1 yun nandito, automatic the value of your logarithm is 0. Next. So, nandyan na yung sagot na negative 2. So, therefore, pakita ko lang. Okay, so, log of 4 with base of 1 half. So, kailangan same sila, no? Same yung base nila. So, paano gawin natin? So, that write natin yung 4 as 1 half raised to negative 2. So, therefore, y is equal to negative 2. Okay? After that, i-plot natin yung nakuha natin ordered pairs. So, 1, 6, uh, 1 over 16 and 4. So, yan yun. Next is 1 over 8 and 3. 1 fourth and 2. 1 half and 1, 1 and 0, 2 and negative 1, 4 and negative 2, and 8 and negative 3. Or, uh, pwede nyong i-check using the uh, GeoGebra. No? Type nyo lang to sa browser nyo, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina. So, kapag ginamitan nyo ng GeoGebra, so, kapag kinonect natin yung points na yan, so, ganito yung itsura nyan. Okay? So, that is the graph of the function y is equal to log of x with a base of 1 half. So, in general, yung pinakita ko kasi yung dalawang example, so the graph of y is equal to log of x with base b, where b is greater than 0, and b is not equal to 1. So, ito yon, no? So, itong graph na to, yung blue, that is the graph of your, uh, no, the graph, Yung ito pala, yung orange na graph. So, that is the graph of y is equal to log of x with base b. Yung, which b, uh, your b is greater than 1. So, yun yung una example kanina. At ito naman yung blue. So, that is, if your b is greater than 0 but less than 1. Okay? So, I'll give you another example. Oh. So, y is equal to log of the quantity x plus 5 with base 2. Okay? Same process. Okay, in this uh, example class, binigay ko yung values ng x from negative 5, uh, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 2, and 3. So, pwede kayo rin yung mag-assign ng uh, values ng x. Any values ng x, pwede yung i-assign dyan. And then, so, pwede natin... Uh, makuha yung sagot ng y using your scientific calculator kasi sa scientific calculator meron ng uh, for logarithm doon no? or so kung gusto nyo naman solve natin manually so substitute lang natin if x is negative 5 so palitan natin yung x na negative 5 so log of negative 5 plus 5 that is 0 so wala ka naman makukuha kapag uh, logarithm of 0 with base 2 So therefore that is undefined Bakit? So kapag nire-write natin as exponential to So wala kang makukuha na any in exponential form Na magka-come up ka ng 0 Okay? So kaya, naging, kaya undefined yung sagot natin If x is negative 3 So negative 3 plus 5 So negative 3 plus 5 is 2 So ba Applying the property Log of 2 raised uh Logarithm of 2 with base 2, that is equal to 1. So, y is equal to 1 if your x is negative 3. And then, if your x is negative 1, so negative 1 plus 5, that is positive 4. And then, applying the property of logarithm. So, yung 4, we can write as 2 squared. And y is equal to log 2 squared with base 2 is equal to y is equal to 2. And then, uh, what if class kapag 
uh, we can't, uh, wala silang, uh, hindi sila pareho. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? Like, for example, okay, if x is 2, so log of 2 plus 5, so that is log of 7 with base 2. So, anong gagawin kapag ganyan? So, we can apply the chains of base formula, no? Yung, pwede natin i- uh, apply in chains of base formula. So, paano gagawin yun? Using the common logarithm. So, log of 7. So, common logarithm yan. Parehas sila ng base. Over log of 2. And using your calculator, log of 7 divide log of 2. That is equivalent to 2.81. Okay? Gagawin nyo yan kapag uh, we can't apply the properties of logarithm. So, gamitin nyo yung chains of base formula. Okay? So, Start tayo, plot natin yung points, negative 4, 0, negative 3, 1, negative 2, 1, and 1.58, negative 1 and 2, 0 and 2.32, 2 and 2.81, and 3 and 3. Okay, para mas accurate yung graph natin, pwede nyo gamitin ng GeoGebra or Desmos na app. Okay, sa cellphone pwede nyo ito ma-check. Okay, download nyo lang yung GeoGebra and then yung Desmos. Okay, so ito yun, kapag uh, chinect nyo using the GeoGebra, so that is the plotting points, and then kapag kinonect natin, that is the graph of the given function. Okay, so I'll give you three questions. So for number one, which of the following is the inverse of exponential function, letter A? Rational function, B. Quadratic function, C. Logarithmic function, D. Linear function. So, what will be the answer? Okay. The answer is letter C. Next. Which of the value of y in the given in the given table? So, given the table. So, solve for y. So, A is equal to 1.2. B is equal to 1.26. C is equal to 1.62. And D is equal to 2.40. So, you can apply... No? Or you can use your scientific calculator I post nyo muna yung videos And then sagutan Oh yes, the answer is Letter B, 1.26 Next Which of the following logarithmic function Represented by the given Table So A is equal to Y to log 2 with base X B, Y is equal to log 3 with base X C, Y is equal to log X with base 2 And D y is equal to log x with base 3. Okay, alin kaya dyan? Yes, the answer is letter C. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.